thing is absolutely massive. Flames pouring out of ships, billowing smoke, massive explosions. Ships breaking into two. It really is epic. The gamer's experience is just second to none. So one of the things that makes Battle Stations really unique is the, the blend of strategy and action. It's something that's not offered anywhere else. One minute you'll be on a map screen, setting waypoints for your unit, and the next minute you'll be switched into the cockpit of a Zero, dogfighting the skies above your flotilla. For the first time, we'll include a Japanese campaign, which takes players through an alternative scenario, and is an illustration of a course of events that could have happened had the Japanese succeeded at the Battle of Midway. The two campaigns are completely distinct. So when you play the Japanese campaign, you play all the way through. So it's not a case of you play the same mission that you played in the US campaign from the other point of view. They're distinct parts. It really is double the content. The addition of the Japanese campaign is great in many ways. With it, it brings a whole host of units that you won't have seen before. Well, obviously all the units are different. They've got different strengths and weaknesses, different tactical uses. So where the American counterpart might be more of an all-round ship, maybe the Japanese one is more dedicated anti-air or has more torpedo tubes. So it opens up new tactics, new possibilities, new challenges for the player, which just really adds another layer to the gameplay. So when it comes to battle sequences in, in the Pacific, what players can really expect is just intensity, is, is action. So we've upped the particle limit, you can see just hot lead flying through the air, we've upped the damage model so you can blow wings off planes, tails off planes. But when it comes to ships, it's fantastic, you can break them apart completely. An all new feature in Battle Station Pacific will allow players to take control of land masses for the first time. You actually get to land marines on beaches and they can support them as they push up using shell fire, which is really, really exciting. One of our objectives has been to ensure replayability, so all of our missions can be completed in many different ways. Most, if not all, missions in both campaigns now feature secondary objectives. They add so much to the gameplay. The secondary objectives allow the players to unlock certain features, take a sideline over and discover a radar station. It might reveal a large portion of the map and you can see what the enemy are doing. They might be weapon upgrades. It really does add that extra level of gameplay. One of the main things that we try to do is to keep the player in the action as much as possible while still being able to make all the tactical decisions that they could in midway. The in-game menu features have been implemented in such a way so that you don't have to step out of the action. This allows the player to enjoy all of the excitement and the beauty of the game without having to adjust the settings in a separate menu. Battle Stations Pacific gives gamers one war, two epic sagas from flying around the Corsair to being in a Narwhal-class submarine and everything in between. Battle Station Pacific is a unique blend of action and strategy. It's authentic and a truly epic game.